Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your end of March general forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching if you're new or returning. Thank you. So Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be general, could be love, career, finance, whatever comes out. We're going to take the energies as they come. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Please don't try to make it fit if it's not making sense for you. It is not your story. And hold off for future readings. Um, this could be past, present, or future. Uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching this, doesn't matter. And if this doesn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for your love and general playlist. You're free to watch whatever uh, is in there that may resonate. And also you'll find in there the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below in the description or the top pinned comment. If you're not comfortable... Um, donating through PayPal if you would like to give an energy exchange or a donation. If you watch this during the premiere and the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for uh, energy exchanges and donations. And if you do, thank you. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet for you. And we'll see what comes out. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. And then we'll use this deck here to get an opening message for you. Then I will pull another one to get what your energy is like. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then look at the situation, whatever comes out for you. Advice, possible outcome. We'll get extra messages with the healing fairies. And then I have this new, um, these new cards here. I got, actually got them at the Dollar General. They had two different types, and I mixed them together. And they have prayers on them, or you could call them affirmations. So I thought it would be neat at all the after all the readings that I'm doing is to pull one for a prayer or an affirmation, whatever, uh, however you like to call it. So if you'd like to stick around for that. Okay, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius at this time? Spirit, please, for this deck. Sign, element, or planet. For Sagittarius, please. We have Earth Energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But Earth Energy is about being, uh, being very practical, uh, secure, grounded, smart, analytical. It's about growth and abundance. It's about taking your time and not rushing kind of energy. You know, being very smart, making very smart and wise decisions and taking your time. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So, and Earth to me is always associated, I feel, to uh, work, career, finances. But it doesn't have to be so let's see Sagittarius what's going on with you at this time I just want to say that I did just get over having the flu maybe I don't know three weeks ago or so and I still have a lingering cough and a little bit of congestion so if I do cough periodically through the reading I just want to apologize in advance please bear with me uh, please don't try to understand any negative or rude comments will be deleted so all right, can't really help it, so trying my best. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's get an opening message for you, Sagittarius. What is the opening message for Sagittarius at this time? Spirit, please. Almost had a jumper there. Uh, set. Okay, feeling that one. And we have two of Gabriel. May make bold and ambitious choices great progress is possible important relationships with people who share your vision so this is the two of wands it can be um about making a decision having to make a decision being at a crossroads and needing to choose a path but it also is to me about making plans and decisions for the future about whatever path you choose whatever road you choose to go down making plans and decisions going down that road that you have chosen so, and it says great progress is possible, whatever road you choose, and great relationships with people who share your vision. So, two of wands energy. So, you may be at a crossroads. I know that this is a little different, doesn't really depict that, but we shall see. Maybe you're at some sort of crossroads here. That is fire energy, the two of wands. So, that is Leo Sag Aries energy. So, it's definitely your energy. So you may be at a crossroads trying to make a very smart, practical, wise decision and taking your time doing so with the earth energy. All right, so what is your energy like, Sagittarius, at this time, please? 
Thank you so much. What is Sagittarius is for those watching this for the general collective? This is a general collective reading. It's not a private reading. All right. For Sagittarius. Okay, we'll take that one. Uh, we got two twos here. Wow. So two of Ariel. This is the two of Pentacles. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So the two of pentacles also can be that energy of trying to balance things out, juggling things around, and trying to make things work, what works, what doesn't work, um, kind of energy, and having a lot of responsibility and trying to juggle everything all at once kind of energy. You see this person is, you know, standing on their head. So it's all about balance here and juggling and uh, balance, trying to balance things out. Yet you're at a crossroads. So the two pentacles is about career finance kind of energy. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So this is the six of cups energy. And this speaks of nostalgia, memories of the past, uh, childhood, things of your childhood, uh, your childhood home, old friends and family of your childhood. Um, this can talk of, of past lives also. Also could talk of soulmate energy or someone you've had past lives with is the Six of Cups energy. So we'll see what's going on here. So <clears throat> you could be at a crossroads about something from your past. And you could be juggling, you know, if it's not juggling around uh, a lot of responsibility or like your finances or just things in general, things in life. It could be juggling around thoughts and ideas also while you're at this crossroads. And it could be about a soulmate person or something from your past. But you're trying to stay grounded and be practical in this earth energy. Um, so let's see. Let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. Let's clarify this energy for you. So I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, everybody who's uh, supported me in the channel in any way. In honor of that, I am having a giveaway, if you have not heard already. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, you will win a free tarot deck and also a free 20-minute reading by me of your choice. It's open through March. I will pick a winner in April. And if you're interested in entering that, check the description or the top pinned comment on how to enter. And if you do, good luck. Okay, so Sagittarius, what is all this energy about at this time for Sagittarius Spirit, please? Thank you so much for Sagittarius at this time. Okay. Well, we have the Five of Cups in reverse and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So Five of Cups talks about sadness and loss and heart kind of energy. But then we have the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the dedicated Oh, this is Seven of Pentacles, so sorry. So this is about assessing, analyzing, uh, reviewing what you've um, invested in and wanting to know it. Well, not wanting to know, but you're looking at something that you invested in and you're wondering, should I continue investing? Will I see um, a profit from this? Or will I see you know a crop flourish from this? So in a period of assessing, analyzing, and wondering if you should continue investing. I mean, the Five of Cups in reverse is some is that sadness. Upright, it's about sadness, hurt, and loneliness. But in reverse, I feel like <clears throat> somebody could be in a deep, deep depression here, or somebody is now coming out of a period of being depressed and sad and law and uh, lonely but wondering if they should continue to invest in something that has been out of balance here. So at a crossroads about someone from your past or someone you've been around or with for a very long time or a soulmate energy here. All right, so let's see what all this is about for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What is this about for Sagittarius? What? Okay. King of Pentacles. So this is someone who's very smart, practical, analytical. There's that earth energy. So you can have earth sign around you, or this is you taking on this earth energy of being, you know, grounded, secure, stable. 
you know, trying to get uh, back into that energy of, you know, taking care of yourself, being independent, making money, being very grounded kind of energy. Somebody, you know, could be in finances, someone, uh, that kind of energy. Ooh, okay, what do we have here? And I was just thinking the emperor in <laughs> spirit just flew it in my lap. And he has a repeat, two of pentacles, which is right here. Wow. So someone here juggling things around, trying to get their power back, I feel. Someone is trying to get their power back. Juggling, juggling, could be juggling finances, what to invest in, what not to invest in. Really with the emperor, someone's in control and charge. Could be a boss or some, some of that energy. We've got two energies here because the king of pentacles to me can always be somebody who um, is a high-ranking boss or is someone in the financial field or something like that. And the emperor definitely is somebody who could own their own business or something like that. So somebody is definitely juggling around something here, either trying to own their own business or leveling up their career or their finances, trying to get stable again. But it's been a period of juggling here and trying to understand what do I invest in? What do I not invest in? Somebody could be really depressed about this, uh, the Five of Cups in reversed. Or somebody now is uh, no longer sad or about it anymore. All right, so let's get one more for our energy. Page of Wands. So this is good news coming in. Exciting, passionate communication or good news. So there's maybe good news coming into you that you don't see coming because this, this is your energy, Leo Sagittarius, but um, it could be good news coming into you that you're not going to see coming because this back is turned to the two pentacles. So, you know, you, I think you're trying to juggle around your career, your finances, trying to get stable, trying to, you know, advance yourself, get ahead. But it's like investing, 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 and maybe juggling, juggling, but not seeing not seeing things maybe progress the way you want to. So maybe, you know, getting a little depressed about it. So it's cup, six of cups energy could be something maybe you've wanted to do or be since childhood kind of energy. But I feel like there's some sort of good news coming into you and you're not going to see it coming. All right, so... Yeah, so now, let's see, for your actual situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is someone who's single, independent, uh, can take care of themselves, has what they need, very abundant and secure, wealthy. They have everything they need. So, you know, this energy is coming to you of the Nine of Pentacles, of being secure, abundant, independent, on your own, standing on your own two feet. And being Now, two cards of being out of balance, but now we have balance with the Six of Pentacles. So things will balance out here. All right, so for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, whoop. Five of Swords, right in the middle. Oh, what's this? Now the Knight of Cups. So let's see, let's get one more. So the Five of Swords can be an energy of, I'm going to do what I have to do no matter what. Or do I just lay down and say, okay, I'm defeated, you know, it is what it is. Or do I do what I need to do and not give up and keep moving forward? But be careful of that energy that sometimes it can be a bad energy of like hurting others and you don't really care. Or of energy of just like, okay, I'm going to do what I need to do to get where I want to be, no matter, you know, kind of energy. So <clears throat> and now we have the King of Cups energy. So I feel like this is right in the middle of your spread. So I feel like you're finally at the place where I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to lay down and be defeated or walk away. I'm just going to do what I need to do to get where I want to be, to bring my balance and become dependent, independent and uh, secure and grounded and practical and have everything I need. So making you know that movement forward, coming from a loving, compassionate place, sincere place, yeah, being in control of your thoughts, emotions here with the King of Cups, like keeping all that in check as you're moving forward. Not to let ego and pride and like negative energy 
get in the way or interfere with your process here. I'm not getting it. Uh, I mean, it could be a love situation for some of you. Uh, maybe indecisive about a soulmate here. But I'm not, I'm not really, um, I mean, some of you could finally, you know, once you become independent here, maybe decide to move forward uh, in love somewhere else. But I'm really getting more, um, you know, becoming independent and making wise investments with that earth energy for your future and trying to keep um, your heart in the right place as you do this and not to get in the negative energy. As you balance yourself out. All right, so let's get advice for you, Sagittarius. So we have the two of wands. So here's another repeating card. Wow. So that's twice we have repeating cards here. So again, being at a crossroads. In the Knight of Pentacles, again, moving forward, taking a uh, safe, practical approach, slow approach, taking your time, not rushing for your future. So definitely being that earth energy, stable and grounded and secure kind of energy. So here's your energy with the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to go in your favor. Things are going to turn. Things are going to turn around. Fate, destiny, divine timing. Things getting better. Things going in the right direction. Seven of Wands energy. That's your energy. So this is a saying not to give up, to keep fighting for what you want. Whatever you're going for here, even though you, you know, maybe a slow process with the Knight of Pentacles, this is your advice. You know, whatever crossroads you are at to keep making this positive, it may be slow moving, but keep making this positive movement forward, staying in that earth uh, energy of being practical, grounded kind of energy, because the wheel is turning in your favor here and not to give up, though you may not see it because your back is turned here to all this energy of moving forward in this direction. Your back is turned, so you may not see it. As over here, the page is that way. The good news is that way. So I feel like there's either going to be some good news coming in about something here. It could be a job offer. It could be something, something maybe you're waiting on, something unexpected while you're at this crossroads. It will enable you to move forward. So this is telling you not to give up. Wow. Okay. So we have strength here. This is your possible outcome. We have strength. All right, let's get a couple more. So this is telling you to uh, stay strong, courageous and brave, having that go-getter attitude, having willpower, determination, taming that beast from within. Then we have the five of wands energy. This is about conflict. It can be inner conflict or competition around you. Then we have the lovers here too. So the lovers doesn't have to be about... Lovers, it can also be about making a choice that is more aligned with you, something that you would love, making that right choice. Um, some of you may be conflicted about a lover, feeling it's a strong connection, but not sure which way to go, feeling that inner conflict. But this is also telling you to make a wise choice with the lovers, something that you feel deep down in your heart is the right choice for you and having the strength to overcome inner conflict. This is your possible outcome. So I see whatever conflict or competition is around you or inner conflict that you have, you will have the strength to make the right choice for you that you feel in your heart. All right, so different, different messages here. So take what messages resonate for you. So the bottom of the deck here. So there we have the full resetting at zero. Sun is coming out for the best luck here. Taking a leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine, jumping right in. Wow. So after the fool always comes the magician, starting at zero, resetting, jumping into the new beginning, and the one, the magician, manifests this new beginning. Wow. This is the first cards in the major arcana, the fool and the magician. So there you go. So jumping in and manifesting this, closing old chapters, starting new chapters. Page of Cups. So this could be apologies, um, could be loving communication of some kind, or an offer coming in, coming out that's sincere. 
and justice. So again, justice, serving justice, things balancing out. So, and I had thought justice with um, all this two of pentacles of being imbalanced and then with the six of pentacles <coughs> is the minor of justice, which is about truth, clarity, things balancing out. <coughs> Sorry. So no, you will get your justice. You could be learning something new here, mastering a new craft, diving in and working together with others and learning something new. But you may not be telling anybody here about what you're going through or what you're going for. And listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Because here's that brand new beginning, divinely guided, that offer <coughs> coming in for you. Sagittarius so here's that divinely guided brand new be beginning <coughs> wow I just got a wicked tickle in my throat so it could be communication that's needed here with somebody or communication coming in <coughs> with the king of swords so this is also having truth clarity cutting away things no longer serving you so just to know, this is always reminds me of divine intervention, king, queen, or ace of swords. So that there will be divine intervention. This brand new beginning will be coming into you. Maybe slow moving. You may not see it, but it's here for you. Long-term stability, long-term uh, opportunity. Listen to you got your intuition. And, you know, maybe you're keeping to yourself also. But this is, you know, ace comes in and now you're learning something new. Things balancing out, going in your favor, getting, receiving justice here. This could be apologies or here's the offer. It's sincere. Closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter. And then jumping right into your new beginning here and manifesting that new beginning for yourself. Wow. So we do have, let's see here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Pisces. We have Libra. Uh, let's see, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius, we have Gemini, Virgo, and we have Aquarius here, let's see, we have Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, your energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Gemini, the signs that I see, so... All right, let's get some closing messages here for you, Sagittarius. So I see things, I feel like something will come into you, an opportunity or good news, and uh, it, you will finally get your balance, you will get your justice in your life, become independent, stable and grounded, secure, abundant for the long term, some kind of new offer coming in, taking that leap, manifesting for yourself a new beginning making the right choice from the heart, what's best for you, and remaining strong here, and maybe slow moving, but it's telling you not to give up. All right. So Sagittarius, if you're new, and you like my energy, how I read, my style, I'm sure you didn't like the coughing, but sorry about that. Uh, please feel free to check out my channel. You like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And right now I do about five readings a month for a sign, two love, two general, and a bonus. And I may be changing that, not sure. But if you head on over to the community tab of my channel, I have two polls there I would like everyone to participate in. It will give me better clarity on what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And also I have been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo for a small fee. And if you're interested in all of that, please go participate in the polls. And it would really help me out, and I would really appreciate it. And if you do, thank you. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's get a couple messages from Healing with the Fairies for Sagittarius at this time. <clears throat> Happily ever after. Well, there you go. I think you got this before in a reading a long time ago. But you will have a happily ever after here, Sagittarius. I'm feeling this one too. And positive expectations. So just know... That as long as you stay in a high vibration and remain positive, that you will have your ha happily ever after. And trust your intuition. And we have that with the high priestess 
uh, where was that? It was, yeah, right there. So trust your intuition, the high priestess energy, your higher knowing, your gut, trust all that inkling that you have. All right, Sagittarius, let's get an affirmation or prayer for you to close this out at this time. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And I think I've had this energy before in your readings, so this definitely could be a slow process for you. You know, and maybe some of you are in the energy of, you know, maybe I'm on the wrong path, maybe I should give up. But if these messages I keep that keep coming out and have the same outcome, it's telling me not to give up. It's just a very slow moving process. All right, so what do we have for Sagittarius? What prayer or affirmation do we have for Sagittarius at this time? Spirit, please. For Sagittarius. All right. The Lord will always guide you. And again, that's about listening to your gut and your intuition because you always will be guided to the right direction. Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, that was your reading. Uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.